Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And I had a patient recently who works at a hospital and she um, told me that her ketones uh, rose up to 6.1 from an extended fast. And I said, great job, that's awesome. And if you were checking your glucose in your blood, it probably would have been maybe around 55 or so. Could have been as low as 50, maybe 60, somewhere in there. And uh, she kind of freaked out because she's got the conventional medical training and anybody who has low blood sugar like 50 or so or 60 in the hospital, that means they, they need to lay down, they might go into a coma and they need to be pumped with uh, sugar straight into their arm. And so I had to explain to her, no, but your ketones were high, therefore your body's using ketones as the fuel, not sugar. So um, let me give you a couple more examples. So Doc, uh, Dominic D'Agostino, He's a, a ketone researcher at University of Southern Florida. He t uh, tweeted recently a picture of his ketone levels and they are 47. And the way that he did that is uh, eating low carb ketogenically. But he's also been studying um, ketosis for the Navy. So he did a nitrox dive and he came out and his uh, blood sugar was 47. And which doesn't matter because his ketones were up. And um, I have a, an employee, Taggy, she's actually been helping me with this YouTube channel. She's been answering some questions on my behalf in the comment section. Um, she recently uh, has been doing intermittent fasting and eating ketogenically. And she's gotten her uh, blood sugar down to 45. And her ketones were 6.9 or 7. So um, now the lowest I've ever heard of was a doctor who attends the same seminars that I go to, she got her sugar down to 25. And it doesn't matter how low your sugar goes naturally, it'll take care of itself when you're in ketosis. It'll always maintain a certain level of blood sugar because the red blood cells need sugar to function. Red blood cells do not use ketones. And uh, I've learned recently too that maybe hair follicles also need glucose and not ketones, although that's up for debate and I don't know if that's tr a true fact or not. But um, so your body will always maintain a certain level of glucose in the blood. So um, having said that, I want to introduce Taggy as my new practitioner. She's been my assistant for three or four years. And um, ever since she graduated from college, she's never left college. She's been studying to be in healthcare and uh, as a naturopathic doctor. And she recently just got her degree. So she had her first new patient recently and she speaks English and French and Arabic. And we have a lot of um, patients we discuss health from the Middle East and um, from Bahrain and Qatar and Saudi Arabia and, and Kuwait. And I've talked to a lot of people around the world. And, but she can speak in your native tongue if it's French or, or Arabic. So just email the office at intake at the NHCAA.com which stands for the Nutritional Healing Center Ann Arbor. And as for Taggy, for help with your health, and you can speak in your native, native language if it's French or Arabic. So if this information on, on low sugar is helpful for you, hopefully it's comforting. Um, you know, and you know it's, the, it's a solution for diabetes. And it's been very helpful for type one, diabetes and stabilization, and obviously reversing type two. And then you get the benefits of the ketones which do phenomenal uh, positive benefits for your body. Which, and I have other videos on that. Here's one right, right here. So if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video.